double down on your morals because you will be tested. But there's two sides to this because, like, a lot of people don't even know what their morals really are. And it's like, they think they have certain morals, but they only have that because they think that they should have that moral. But they don't fully, like, believe inside that moral. Like, they may think that something's really wrong, but they participate inside of it. So it's like, do you really think that it's wrong? Because sometimes you've just been told that it's wrong and now you don't know if it really is or if it isn't. So it's like, you first got to find out what it is that you actually really do believe. And then you really do have to double down because life is going to test your morals and stuff like that. If you say that something is wrong, you need to act like it's wrong all the time. Because if you don't act like it's wrong, you participate inside of it. And then it burns you and, then, you know, it makes you, you know, like just get set back in life then it's like whose fault really is that it would be yours because you already know this thing is wrong or it's bad yet you keep participating inside of it now you should try to find out why things are wrong why things are bad because sometimes it's like you could say something is bad or wrong but you can't even really explain why you know so it's like you should be able to explain thoroughly why something is not really good for you because if, if you could start explaining why more they don't make more logical sense to not participate inside this thing. You know, if you could actually start pointing out how this is negatively affecting you, you're going to start seeing like, dang, this thing actually is bad. And then it's like, you could also start seeing that, dang, things that I thought were bad were actually good. Things that I thought were good were actually bad. You know, you could actually start getting really like confused. Now, I ain't going to say confused, but you could, just, you could start getting really surprised at certain things if you just start really concentrating and thinking about, dang, how does this actually make my life go bad? How does this how does this make my life go good? You feel me? If there's more pros and cons, you know that it's more good than bad. If there's more cons than pros, you know that it's more bad than good. You feel me? But it's like, yeah, if, if you, you you should find things that's kind of like all pros. Like, I'm not gonna lie, a lot of things do have cons, but it's like some cons are just like cons to like your ego, character, or whatnot. You feel me? Like for example, you may be like a con to not eating unhealthy is the fact that the food is not going to taste as good but it's like that's really like some bodily you know attachment ego i need to taste thing type stuff because there's healthy foods that taste good also it's just that if you're so used to the bad food then it's like you, you get what i'm saying so double down on your morals because life will test you and if you feel the test you're, you're, it's just gonna get bad for you you're, you're not gonna feel good you're probably gonna get set back in life and it's like we could blame everything and everybody else but at the end of the day it's going to be our fault because it's like we had certain morals and we just went against them when we, when we got tested and that's really our fault we should have never went against our morals so find out what your morals are firmly establish them find out why you actually have those morals like you should be able to explain thoroughly why you have these morals and then double down on them because you will be tested and when the test comes like i said double down and don't go against them because if you do go against them guess what you're gonna get set back in life you're gonna be upset things are gonna be the best and it's like yeah double down please